Hi everyone! Today I will share with you our favorite cinnamon roll recipe. In our home we have this tradition of having them on birthday mornings with a candle on top for the birthday boy or girl, for parents too, so we always look forward for the big birthday special day. They're very soft and usually I make two batches but today I will make one batch which means 12 rolls and that's more than enough <laughs> I think so let's get started so you'll need half a cup of warm water two and a half teaspoons of active dry yeast one teaspoon of sugar regular sugar mine is just organic cane sugar but you can just use any sugar and just give it a quick mix until everything kind of dissolves or combines well together and then I'm gonna let it rest for about five minutes or so until nice and bubbly okay and five minutes later look at that in a large bowl we add about one quarter of a cup of sugar and we add the um, the yeast mixture half a cup of milk at room temperature one large egg and just the egg yolk of the second egg so one egg yolk And we mix well with a handheld mixer or you can just use your KitchenAid if you have that okay for this dough so just for like 20 seconds or so perfect now we'll add two cups of all-purpose flour give it a mix and that's one teaspoon of salt it's pink because I use Himalayan salt but you can just use regular salt and just combine until everything comes together and it's kind of it, it will look soft but we'll add another cup of flour so that's the third And you can see that the dough is starting to thicken up so I'll switch to the dough attachment again you can make the dough in your KitchenAid if you have one now I'm adding the unsalted butter at room temperature that's very important so five tablespoons of that and I switched with a dough attachments so when the dough is smooth and it kind of comes together so you see it it looks like a nice piece of dough then we'll just cover it up with plastic wrap and we're gonna let it rest at room temperature or in a warm place for approximately one hour until doubled in size in the meantime I like to get the kitchen cleaned up and work on the cinnamon sugar filling so the sugar filling you can double if you like but I try not to make it too sweet okay so I like to use a third of a cup of cane sugar one third of a cup of brown sugar a tablespoon of ground cinnamon a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and just give it a good mix and then we just let it sit on the side So it's been 30 minutes the dough is ready so I'm just preparing my board it's just a large board I have from Ikea I think I got a few years ago you can just use your countertop basically you put plenty of flour so that the dough won't stick as you can see it's a very nice and soft dough so it'll stick easy to the um, very easily to the board or to the countertop 
flip it over and make sure it's well floured and then we're just going to roll it out into a large rectangle. So the size of it, it should be somewhere around 20 by 14 inches large, but just eyeball it. I eyeball it. I don't measure it, but that's the measurements. I have here half a cup of softened butter, so at room temperature. And you just spread it all over the dough. It's very easy to spread if it's softened up, so make sure you pull up your butter the day before. Now we're going to sprinkle the cinnamon sugar all over the dough. Like I said, you can double this um, sugar mix if you'd like it sweeter, but it's good enough for our family. Now we're going to roll the dough into a tight log starting at the largest side. So bring it gently together. If it does stick on the outer side, just peel it off. It's fine. You won't see a thing once the cinnamon rolls are all baked and iced. Perfect. Now we're just going to cut the dough, the log into 12 equal pieces. So I use a serrated knife. And I like to dip it in flour so it's easier to cut. It won't stick so much. So I cut it in half and then, you know, six, six on each side. So 12 equal parts. Perfect. Now we're going to grease a large pan, a baking pan of about 9 by 12 inches. You can use butter or a spray, oil spray. We're going to place the rolls in the pan. Try not to stick them together because they need to double in size. Now I'm putting them on, but I'll spread them apart once they're all in. And we are going to cover them up with plastic wrap. And let them rest for about 30 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes at room temperature to allow the rolls to rise. Now, if you have a heater in the house, which I do, I just put them beside the heater to speed up the process. So they were done in about 30 minutes, 25 to 30 minutes. And 30 minutes later, they're nice and doubled. So I'm going to pop them in the preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Look at those fluffy buns. Okay, so we're going to pop them in the oven for about 30 to 35 minutes. While they bake, I'm making the icing, which again, you can double if you'd like. For us, it's enough. So I use a cup of cream cheese. I measure it because I can't find it in a block size where I live. So we just use the Philadelphia cream cheese. And I'd like to add one cup of powdered sugar to this usually people add more but one cup of powdered sugar is enough for us and a teaspoon of vanilla sugar or vanilla extract a pinch of salt and we give it a good mix it takes about one to two minutes to get this nice smooth icing you can also add butter if you like but I use no butter in this one just plain Now, this is the secret to very fluffy 
cinema rolls, okay? I warm up a cup of milk with a teaspoon of sugar, a teaspoon or a tablespoon of sugar, so it's nice and warm. And what we're doing, we're adding this to the uh, cinnamon buns. So when they're ready, just spoon the milk over the cinnamon buns, all over them. And this is what makes them really nice and soft inside, okay? And I learned this from the Romanian cookbook that I have. It's a very old cookbook that I bought like 20 years ago. And this is the secret to fluffy cinnamon rolls. Once you put all the milk over the cinnamon buns, you put them in the oven for another five minutes and they're ready to be iced and served. So I like to slice them before I take them out of the pan. Now you can ice them straight in the pan. I do that sometimes. Or you can take each of the rolls out and just ice them independently separately. So one by one. Look how soft they are. I'm telling you guys, they're really soft. And that's how they look like. And we like to ice them today one by one. And they are amazing. Guys, they're so soft and not too sweet. And you can just reheat them again if you have extras on hand, like the next morning with coffee. They're really good. If you enjoyed this recipe, please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. If you have any questions, do share with your friends. If you think it's a good recipe, I hope you try it and you let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.